Learning English quickly can be a challenging task, but there are several effective strategies that you can use to accelerate your progress. Here are seven best tips to help you learn English faster this 2023. Let's get started. First is to create a structured learning plan. Creating a structured learning plan can help you stay organized and focused on your language goals. Here are some steps you can take to create an effective learning plan. First, set specific language goals. Make sure your goals are specific, measurable, and achievable. For example, you could set a goal to memorize 10 new words every day or to practice speaking with a language partner for 30 minutes a day. Second step is to create a daily or weekly study schedule. Decide how much time you can realistically devote to studying English each day or week and then create a schedule that fits your needs. For example, you could study for 30 minutes every morning before work or for an hour every evening after dinner. And the next step is use a variety of learning materials to keep your learning engaging and varied. Use a mix of textbooks, online courses, apps, and other materials. You could also try listening to English podcasts or watching YouTube videos or topics that interest you. Second tip is focus on grammar and vocabulary. Yes, grammar and vocabulary are essential components of any language and focusing on these areas will help you improve your English quickly. Here are some tips for practicing grammar and vocabulary. First is using of flashcards. Yes, use flashcards. Flashcards are a simple and effective way to memorize the vocabulary. You can create your own flashcards with new words you encounter or use apps like Anki or Quizlet. Next step is to practice with exercises. Many online resources offer grammar and vocabulary exercises that you can use to practice. For example, websites like English Central or Perfect English Grammar offer free exercises on a range of topics. Next step is read in English. Reading in English is an excellent way to pick up new vocabulary and learn grammar in context. You could start with children's books or graded readers and then gradually move on to more complex texts. Tip number three, watch English movies and TV shows. Watching English language movies and TV shows can help improve your listening and comprehension skills. Here are some tips for getting the most out of this strategy. First is to start with English subtitles. If you're not used to listening to English, it can be helpful to start by watching shows with English subtitles. This will help you match the written word to the spoken word and improve your listening comprehension. Choose shows that interest you. To keep yourself engaged, choose shows or movies that you enjoy. You could try watching popular English language films or TV shows on Netflix, Hulu, or Amazon Prime. Next step is to focus on listening. While watching, try to focus on listening to the dialogue rather than reading the subtitles. This will help improve your listening skills and train your ear to recognize different accents and dialects. Fourth tip is to use language learning apps and websites. There are many language learning apps and websites available that can help you learn English quickly. Here are some apps and websites you can try. First is Duolingo. Duolingo is a popular language learning app that offers gamified lessons and exercises in English. Next is Babbel. Babbel is another language learning app that offers comprehensive lessons in English. Third is Rosetta Stone. Rosetta Stone is a language learning software that uses immersive techniques to help you learn English. Tip number five, find a language exchange partner. Finding a language exchange partner is a great way to practice your English speaking and listening skills. Here are some tips for finding a language partner. First is to use language exchange websites. Websites like italki, Tandem, and HelloTalk allow you to connect with language partners from around the world. These websites allow you to search for partners based on their language and interests, and you can communicate with them through voice or video calls. 
Next is to join language exchange groups. Many social media platforms like Facebook and Reddit have language exchange groups where you can connect with other learners and native speakers. These groups often organize language exchange events and activities. Next step is to attend language exchange events. Look for language exchange events in your community or city. These events often take place in cafes or community centers and give you the opportunity to practice speaking with native speakers. When you find a language exchange partner, make sure you establish clear goals and expectations. You could agree to spend a certain amount of time practicing speaking and listening skills in each language, or you could choose specific topics to discuss. Tip number six, immerse yourself in the language. Immersing yourself in the English language means surrounding yourself with English language materials and experiences as much as possible. Here are some tips for immersing yourself in the language. First is to listen to English music. Listening to English music is a fun and engaging way to improve your listening skills and learn new vocabulary. You could try listening to popular English language artists or explore different genres of music. Next step is to watch English language TV shows and movies. Watching English language TV shows and movies is a great way to improve your listening skills and learn about English speaking cultures. You could try watching shows like Friends, The Office, or Game of Thrones. Next step is to read books and newspapers in English. Reading in English is a great way to improve your vocabulary and comprehension skills. You could start with easy to read books or newspapers and then gradually move on to more complex texts. The next is practice speaking with native speakers. Finding a language exchange partner or attending language exchange events can also help you immerse yourself in the language and practice speaking with native speakers. And tip number seven, practice consistently. Consistency is key when it comes to learning any new skill and learning English is no exception. Here are some tips for practicing consistently. First is to set a regular study schedule. Try to schedule a specific time each day or week for studying English. This will help you establish a routine and make language learning a habit. Practice in short bursts. If you're short on time, try to practice in short, focused bursts. Even 10 to 15 minutes of focused practice each day can help you make progress. Next is use downtime for practice. Look for opportunities to practice English during downtime, like when you're commuting to work or waiting in line. You could listen to English podcasts, read a book in English, or practice vocabulary using flashcards. And of course, don't forget to celebrate progress. Learning a language can be a long and challenging process, so it's important to celebrate your progress along the way. Whether you've memorized 100 new words or have had a successful conversation with a native speaker, take time to recognize and celebrate your achievements. By following these tips and staying committed to your learning goals, you can make significant progress in learning English quickly. That's it for today's video. If you find it helpful, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Yes, like, share, comment, and be a part of our YouTube online community of learners by clicking the subscribe button. And don't forget to ring the notification bell so you'll always get updates every time I have a newly uploaded video. Thank you for learning English with me. Till my next one. Bye!